narcissists love transactionally. They relate transactionally to you in that it means everything that they're doing, all relationship, all loves, tabs are being kept. And what they are doing, they expect to receive. When they give, they expect to get. Now, the relationship is built on expectations of reciprocity. While we all would like to receive back from something in a loving relationship, that is different than a relationship that is a reciprocal relationship just naturally because of a person giving and the other person giving and therefore you both receive. This is an expectation of that are on you. They set the terms of the transactions. This is what I'm getting at. They set the terms of these transactions. They will say, for instance, um, if you behave, I'll, you'll get my good side. I was actually told that if you behave, I said, define behave. Well, give me what I need. If you give me what I need, I'll give you what you need. Isn't that how it works? Well, kind of, but no, you know, like there's more to it than that. What, what do you mean? What is it that you're not getting? I'm not getting your, what did it was it your undying affection and, and attention. I'm not getting your, un, your worship, my what, right? And if you don't give that, you're not going to get anything. And I said, so if I'm not showing you 100% that you're the most important thing on this planet, you're not going to give me anything? Correct. Because I, you haven't earned it. They, they see it as an earned thing. Give, 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 and you'll get a little bit. Maybe. If they feel like it, then Perfect. they give. Think of a parent's love being unconditional. We think of a parent's love being just there for you because, because you were born to them, because they're your parents, because you're their child. But with a narcissistic parent, it's a very self-serving love that is about that parent. It's not about you. It's not about giving to your child. It is expectations of, you know, you do good and then I'll give you love. And by good, it's their standards. It's their standards of good. It's their standards of what their expectations are on you. Perfectionism is one big thing that happens with people who are raised by toxic parents. Sometimes it's not recognized as perfectionism, but it's recognized more as feeling like not good enough. And like, well, then what would be good enough? Well, if I were perfect, you know what I'm saying? So it, it can be a little bit difficult to recognize in oneself because you don't feel good enough. You think, well, I'm nowhere near perfect. But what you're aiming for is something that is inhuman right? Because you've been taught that that's what you, a narcissist will give you love, they'll give you affection, then they take it away. It's the whole nature of how the, the love bombing and the devaluing cycle works, right? Here, have a little bit of love. Oh, look, I pulled the rug out from under you here, have some breadcrumbs. Oh, look, I swept them away, you no longer have them. Here, have some gifts. Oh, never mind. Those, are, those aren't mine to give. I'm not you're not you can't have those. Or have the gifts. I gave you the gifts. What more do you want? you know, and devaluing you while they're giving you the thing. So this is what they do. It's, it's tit for tat, as they say. They expect over and above for doing anything for you. In a transactional relationship, someone is going to expect you to leaps and bounds over what they've done. So it's not exactly an equal exchange. It's more like hey, I did the dishes. Now you have to clean the entire house and do this and do that and do this. And that's a bad example. But you know what I mean? It's like, here, I've done a little bit. Now worship me and, and show me that I how amazing I am. And you might get a little bit more later, but I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't decided if I'm, I'm going to do that or not yet. Basically, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're um, experiencing is what do I get from this? How, how do I win or lose in this situation? They like to stay on top. They like to be in control. How do they maintain control? They maintain control by making you feel unloved and being the person, the only person, the only source that can fix that, which is them. That's how they show you. That's how they show you. So they have an understanding of what it is they're supposed to give in this relationship. They have an understanding of what it is you are sort of feeling and needing. They just won't give it because they don't have the empathy in their in their emotional empathy or in their uh, compassionate empathy they're not playing with a full deck when it comes to empathy all right and so they are able to see what it is you need you can see the recognition because they can mirror it and express it they're not going to give it they're making the choice to make it transactional because to them it's all about staying in power and staying on top and being and not and and controlling you so that you're controlling your feelings, controlling your emotions, so that they 
can use you for whatever they want. They don't love you from empathy, from a place of compassion, from a place of connectedness, because they can't connect. They connect th through control. Like I said, they don't have the kind of empathy that allows that that a person feels emotionally what the other person feels. They have the kind of empathy that understands based on what they're reading on you, based on knowing that if someone's sad, you're supposed to say what's wrong, you know, but you do, but they don't have the, the feeling of, oh, that's that person's sad. I wonder what would help them. Then they don't have the compassion to then do anything about it unless there's an exchange. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. If you guys, their love is all about seeking supply. Their love is all about what it gives them. Okay. And it's painful pill to swallow. And I'm sorry, but it is the truth. If you need any more information or any help with anything related to this stuff with narcissists, look in the main description of every video. There is a lot of info there, including ways to reach me if you need coaching or group coaching. We have a very active group right now with a lot of people, really good people, um, really good information shared and help being between everybody in there. So um, if you need it, it is available. Check it out.